Hi Wiregrass. Now that my Navigate is live, I want to walk you through academic plans and best fit scheduling so that you have a better idea of how this wonderful tool can help students. Okay, the first thing that you will want students to do is to log into My Navigate, and for that, they will go to wiregrass.navigate.eab.com, and then students will use their 900 number for both the username and the password. So when a student first logs into My Navigate, this little screen will show, and this is like the home page. So over on the left-hand side, you have their list of tasks or events to complete under My Path. And then in the middle, you have information about their current term, um, maybe some future terms that have been planned in, in their courses in which they are currently enrolled. And then also um, up top you have your different tabs of the four main components of my Navigate. So today we're going to go over my plan. Now a couple things to note here. Up here in the top right underneath where it says my plan you will see the student's program of study as well as the number of credit hours that are required for that program of study. One thing to note about this is that my Navigate Student information like this in my Navigate updates once, once a day around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So if a student came to you just after having a change of program completed in admissions, it will not show the new program of study yet. You can still design a, a, a plan or a plan of classes for the student, but it will still show the old program until it's updated that next morning. Over here on the right-hand side, if this was a true student, I could toggle where it says View Past Terms over to green, and that would show up previous terms. But since this is a test account, that information is not available. Now, over here on the left-hand side, um, you will also see a list of classes that are required for the program of study that is listed above. The goal is that if these classes are completed, that they would not show on the list. We may still be working out some kinks with that, and we'll hopefully all that will come together soon. But um, you know, this tool right here is to be used in addition to advising sessions, um, and also it gives the students, you know, empowerment to have a little bit more input into their education. So, a couple things with this, you'll the academic plan or this list of courses, um, how we hope to have developed this is to put them in chronological order as, you know, what's the best order to take these classes. Again, those are things that we'll be updating as we, as we find errors, but that's the goal. And when you go down the list and you see classes or a, a type of class that has a little down arrow. If you click on that, you'll see the options that fall under that area. Okay, Over here in the middle, this is where you can build out the students, or the student actually, can build out their entire program of study. And that can give them an idea or idea of how long it's going to take them to get through the program. To add future terms, what you would do is go up to add another term and you would select that term. So we're just going to build out a a few of them right now. And so you can see when it adds another term, it lets them know when registration is open, which is totally awesome so that they can always have that in the back of their mind. Okay, so now we're going to go back and build out some of these semesters. And this is, you know, the student will build, will drag these classes over based on your discussion and the advising session. So this summer semester, this student's going to take English, we're going to do college algebra. I'm going to see if anything shows up for anatomy. Um, and then we're going to drag anatomy 2 over to fall semester. And med term over to fall. And then again, we're going to, where it says humanities or fine arts, we're going to do the drop down and we're going to select the one that the student wanted to take based on our discussion. And the same with your social, and you can see as we drag classes over, it drops them off the list. Hmm. 
Okay. And I think I have all the non-rad classes over there. Awesome. Okay. So now you can see we have planned out, or the student has planned out three terms, summer, fall, and spring. And the only term for which registration is open is summer semester. And if you click on any blue text, um, for the most part, there's that little I. There you go. Or the little I. Um, if you hover over it, a course description and just some more information will populate. So once you're ready to register, um, you'll click ready to register. And this is where the student's going to kind of map out the classes that you guys talked about. And when they go to, to that area or click on ready to register, this page pops up. And here you'll see this nifty little calendar. So what's really cool about this is you can, down the bottom, you can see where it, where it tells you drag times you are busy or edit schedule preferences. And this is so cool because this allows the students to say, hey, I'm working during these hours and I absolutely cannot take classes. So say the student's working 7 to 10, so we're just going to kind of drag that over. That's one way that you can do that. The other way is to edit schedule preferences <clears throat> and add a new time. There you go. You can see where it populated that other blue <clears throat> box to show that the student is busy during that time. The student can also set their preferences of where they want to take classes. And you have to have one of these selected. And they can also do, say, how much, how many hours they have for weekly outside commitments. And they can either do the up and down arrow or they can drag this over here. And this information will be good to have so that you can have a really good conversation with with the student about how many classes they should take so that they can be successful. Okay, so now we've identified the busy times and over here on the left hand side you'll see the classes that we had discussed for the student to take. Now one thing that's really cool if if it's available here with this set of classes is if you click on quick schedule you can see it pops up with multiple options. Sometimes there's maybe just one option, two or three or five. Um, I think the most I've seen is about five or six options. So what has happened is the, my Navigate has pulled all this information from Banner and pre-populated all these class times and said, hey, these are some potential schedules without any time conflicts. So that just takes away um, a lot of that time that's been required to go back and forth with the schedule. So what you can have the student do, do during this time is to go through each one of those options. And they'll go through and figure out which one works best with their schedule. They go through one through five and then when they find the one that fits their schedule they're going to click pick these times and then it'll automatically populate that schedule on the calendar here. And so now the student has an easy visual as far as what time that class is, what time all their classes are, and how they align with everything else and with all their prior commitments. So up top is a nice little visual, and then beneath the calendar, you have the list of classes with their location and the CRN numbers. Now at this point, we cannot register through this system. We will shortly. You can see down at the bottom here you have some different buttons and so this will open hopefully within a couple months. So what you can do at this point is go up here and click on this little print button and print the student schedule. Oops. So if you print their schedule, it'll look like this. So it'll say the class time, the meeting dates, the meeting days, as well as the location and the CRN and the instructor over here. So what you can do with this is after, after you print it, have the student use this to, for the CRNs and go into my banner web and register. 
that is all I have today. So if you do have any other questions, um, please don't hesitate to give me a call or email. And if you find any quirks with specific schedules or calendars or um, classes, please just let me know so that I can look into that.